Mission today, Frank Gerard uh, joining me. 12 months ago, Frank was uh, kind enough, and I had the pleasure of being able to buy his business and we've amalgamated, which has meant that we've been able to bring all of his experience and great knowledge into our team. So I thought we'd ask him a couple of questions and hopefully add a little bit of benefit to you. Uh, so thank you for joining us today, Frank. Right. With all that experience, if you could give one piece of advice to a landlord, what would it be? Um, maintenance, look after your property, make sure that the tenants are happy. Uh, it's important that they look after your asset and in turn you've got to maintain it as well to keep up its asset value. It's like a car, we all know the stories about the cars that are run down, the tyres are bald, the engine's never been serviced, you've got the owners that look after their cars, same with property. Yeah, okay, so, and with that maintenance, what you're saying is that's then going to translate into having a quality tenant? Absolutely, you know, happy tenant, happy landlord, they pay on time, they look after the property, they see you looking after it, they look after it too. Great, alright, excellent. And so the second thing I wanted to ask you, for all our landlords out there that are thinking about getting that second property, with 23 years knowing property and on the peninsula, When's the right time to buy that next investment property? Great question, Josh. Um, for me, the right time is any time. Uh, if you've already got an investment property, you've got it neutrally geared, you've paid off some of the principal, it's now looking after itself, get out there and buy another one. And as soon as the next one's up to speed and paying for itself again, which happens with your capital gains and capital growth, go out there and buy another one again, because the ultimate goal here is long-term investment and securing your future, so you've got some income in retirement. Really, so there's, there's no actual time to pick the market. It's more about uh, if you can get the property and keep it long term and it's working for you, there's no reason to not add more. Absolutely. Picking the market would be great if we could do that. Ultimately, as I said before, it's a long term investment, just like shares. You know, People buy them and you hang on to them until the market gets to where you want to go. You build in that equity and then you go and buy another one. Do it again. Multiplication effect. Compound interest. Excellent. Frank's uh, with us now, he's our Chief Auctioneer. Uh, we're so thankful to have him as part of our team. He's adding plenty of value to everyone in this building and hopefully add some value for you today. Uh, always welcome to call Frank or myself, we're always here. Thanks guys, and thanks Frank. Cheers Josh, good to be part of the team.